I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth. And blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the Lord. Hi. I, for 30 years, basically three decades, have cruised, searched, recollected, reassessed, bought into the negative story that my past owns me, though learning, fast forward to today, that my right now really is not my forever. And my past doesn't need to own me or haunt me. I've made my amends and, you know, I can be queer or gay, but be on the straight and narrow and straighten out my mind. And that's really what we're doing for gay straight, fat or fit, male or female, black or white, rich or poor, Christian or no Christian. We are all on this same page of self-loathing when we get too into our mistakes, our imperfection. In as much as you know, at Social Alchemy Project, perfection is found in the imperfection like that. With no thought, nothing. It's there. If you allow yourself to sit with yourself, pitch responsibility, put a name on your suffering, and seek, like I've been learning at the United Church of Christ Congregational on La Valley Road in San Luis Obispo, that really vigilantly, in this very important procedure of social justice, gives like 5,000 showers in their parking lot to homeless women. What? I know. That's marvelous. That's, that's a project. And in the time of Christmas, because that's where we're at, with the gorgeous Christmas music and how the place is so difficult because of materialistic values and consumerism and not really acknowledging the illumination of Christ, the light of the world that came to us, No reason ever to exercise this simple practice that the United, the pastors at the United Church of Christ Congregational, UCC, have been teaching me. What's that? Mindful self-compassion. Compassion for myself? You mean liking myself? But I'm hard on myself. But I have self-doubts. But I'm insecure. Yes. And that's because of all the mistrust I have for myself. There's plenty of people in the world that are scared to say this. But there's a group that are going to say this, and I'm one of those groups. And that is, I'm okay with not being okay because God provides for my breath. 
God provides for your breath, and we will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised because of the birth of Jesus Christ at Christmas time and what he came to do as a Messiah by the death, burial, and resurrection of the Jesus that we know as Savior, way shower. There's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. It's okay to put a difficult Christmas aside and say, it might be good. Because the music is too wonderful than not to say, this is going to be your best Christmas for a long time. The one that we approached that we knew was a challenge because of an economic and health pandemic and increase of homelessness, people not wanting to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ, during a Christmas of wanting more, wanting the best, wanting to have the greatest. I'm 51, I'm Native American. It's the land of approval. It's the land of the abundance. You don't think I've had some nice things that have happened, that if nice things aren't gonna happen for 2022, and I know that psychically, per se, let's say, case in point, as a scenario, no doubt should enter my heart that this is going to be the best Christmas because I'm imperfect, you're imperfect, and with the joy of our salvation, knowing that we're lovable, we're likable people. Your imperfection does not need to get you thrown out of heaven. It'll get you thrown out of a job in this real world and make you homeless. But when we cross over, there's acceptance. There is love. You know, people are so afraid of Judgment Day. The Holy Spirit showed me Judgment Day is filled with love. <laughs> it's not filled with punishment. We've been taught that. It's made me psychotic. It's put me in a psychiatric hospital. It's made me self-loathe. It's made me not want to eat for weeks. It's turned me to anorexic diagnosis from certain doctor's visits. That's how sick religious abuse and a racist Jesus and those that have a Messiah complex and the judgments and the bigotry and the unacceptance of who we are as is right here, right now. You can deal with repentance and changing your patterns and your tolerance and abilities to handle urges only after you simply expect a new life by being open to the fact Christmas is the season to call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised who is our best friend. Who tells us we're even likable? Some people don't think God tells people they're likable. If God is love, like somebody at church had told me through a book they read, If God is love, and of course there's such beautiful music at Christmas time, why are you a jerk? Like, what are you looking for? You need to stop and really develop that spiritual practice of gratitude. And that is going to turn you from dark to light. Yes, there's things you're not going to be able to work out because dark is pretty dark. If you've gone down the rabbit hole, it's hard to get up.
and get out of it. It's not overnight. But you know what you're going to find when you turn to Christ during this Christmas? And this is the first time you found this video portrayal, this emotional, elevated dialogue, public discourse, whatever you want to call social alchemy project. What you're going to find is that I am your friend. And I don't know everyone who's on the other side of this camera. I am your friend. And if you don't get it yet, you will be a friend of God. God is going to bless you for spending this 10 minutes listening to me. Because I know what I'm talking about. From crystal meth to being in gel to finding men in drugs and a dark scene behind their families' backs or behind uh, just the contamination and never rejecting that because those are still God's people. God hung out with the thief in the corner. God hung out with Madonna, if you think she's a whore. God hung out with these people. Jesus hung out with the tax collectors. You think you're too good in 2022 because of your fabulous Samsung, your smartphone, and all that can be taken away like this. That rug can slip from underneath any of us like this. And at this Christmas, I come to you in this video after 12 minutes now, and I tell you, I don't judge you for that. Bring on the atheist. I get the best intellectual conversations with atheists and agnostics. Bring me on, those people. Because you know why? Because I have learned that if everything can be taken away like this, all you're left is with that breath that sings that you call upon the Lord. And in adversity and in that atheism, guess what? The Christian comes out on top because they give you love and they give you understanding and they don't push you away. They accept you as is. Come as you are, no perfect people allowed, and you, if you feel like you're worth going to hell and burning, fine on. Take that pity party for yourself. Might only last a day, it's all on you. Might last only a few minutes, but give into it. But come back to your senses of love, unconditional love and loving properly without materialistic values. Having loyalty for people, even if they don't show you what you want to see after having gotten to know them over the course of 15 years, and now you want to betray them. God will chase your booty and find a way to bring beautiful sunrises to you in your life still. And one day, if not today, one day you will say that you are worth that love because you tried your best in your vanity to get loved and you never got love because it was all about you. Achievement that brought vanity, success, which was motivated by envying other people. And then you got that success of those people you envied and you become aware awake that you're just filled with envy and you're not even happy and you want to go kill yourself or drink your life to death. Guess what? Jesus Christ died and resurrected and that would have not been possible had he not been born during Christmas. You get it. You get it. You can be a jerk. Right? You can rob me. Yeah? You can give me a disease. I don't care. I care because of self-respect. 
but what comes next for you, I don't care to give you the punishment. I don't care to give you my wrath and my vengeance. I don't care. Because people think that God's going to give you the vengeance and God is going to give you the wrath and that's going to put you in your place. You know what? That's been taught for many years by Christians. And I'm going to tell you right now, at this Christmas during a bloody pandemic, that doesn't happen. That's all a state of your consciousness and you making it up in your sociological imagination, thinking you need to burn in hell. Those images are made by you. What's the inevitable is that your breath continues because it's the breath of God. And those sunrises and sunsets continue and you're provided with clean water in America still. And the thing that's going to be tying your booty down, not to say this is religious abuse or some type of spiritual bullying you, because I'm not a spiritual bully, but the thing that is going to tie you up is that you are going to be loved unconditionally. And it's that love at Christmas time with your open heart, because we're in a pandemic. No judgment. Put a break on it. I get it. You're defensive. It's scary. Put it aside. And just for a fresh moment of all the hell you've been through, stand with me. And say, I am love. I'm hate if it's there and I see it. But the inevitable is going to be the love. You can say all the profanity in the world. You can say all the crap about yourself that you want because you're dark, right? You're as psychotic as everyone else, right? I mean, the political system is like a schizophrenic break brain. It's a, it's a schizophrenic brain. I mean, you know, you got problems with me, right? But the inevitable is world peace, not nuclear. If you think it's nuclear and it brings fear, fear is not of God. God is of peace, mind, and sound. And I'm going to tell you now, as if I am a vaccinating person and I'm going to get you vaccinated to save you from a variant that is going to be out to kill you in three months in the event that were to happen. I am going to be that messenger for you today. I'm going to save you. You're going to save yourself, okay? By having openness and just faithfulness to get you out of the way because it's not all about you and it's not all about me. It's about someone that got it right and he loved people and people were jealous of him. They were envious of him because he got it right and they put him on a cross. His name is Jesus. And if you don't believe that, I'm not going to preach that you're going to go burn in hell. That's just made up terror to scare you, right? No, my vision is to come in on you in this video and tell you you got it going on. Your future is in your benefit. You got it going on. I see it. And you have no reason to not acknowledge good guys that were part of creating you, let's say, in the event you believe in the story in the Gospels. And you, right here, right now, supposed to be showing love. You don't know how? You work on it. Open it up, the heart. Get your shit out of there, you know? Throw it up. See it. Marvel in your demon. Why not? Because it's temporal, transitory, and fleeting, and permanent. It doesn't have you. Look how dark you look. 
look how negative in our masculinity toxicity bullshit we are. Right? Look at how we have escalated homelessness in an approval system by rejecting people. If they don't get it right, we throw them out. They go to the street. Not everybody's going to act that way, but that's how our capitalistic society remains powerful at the expense of people that get defeated and they get on heroin. And you, who might not like Christmas, think that you can jerk this video I'm talking on and say Christmas doesn't matter, there's no God. And yet, never attribute more love to your life than you ought to. Go to hell. You are dynamite right here, right now. And you must really consider opening your heart to a little bit of a spirit of Christmas to come into your room. Because it's the right thing to do. And as part of being nice in a culture of hate, lies, insecure people, bloodthirsty predatory society. You don't have to believe in any of this right here, right now. But the one thing that you're going to believe when you turn off this video is what I'm going to tell you, and you're going to remember it. This is what it is. You matter. There are times with a lot of people that can't get over having been rejected, thus feel like they are not enough and they're not likable or lovable. And this alchemy, this forced alchemy during a pandemic and increase of homelessness during Christmas time, this affection you have for what the future reveals to you intellectually that will help you create and design a plan to contribute back to society in 2022, next year, next month. You do those simple things, Your love for life, your love for people, will bring you fulfillment. That no present under the Christmas tree is going to give you. This is going to be life-changing, born-again moment for you. I will it to you. I get you to speak these words in your mind if you allow yourself to be open to my guidance. That your being loved properly is the anecdote to knowing the light of the world in Bethlehem because you've acknowledged the light in your heart not even created on your own it's just breathed and infused into you by a breath by a wise mind a wise heart it all can be taken away like that 
in a moment, it'll all be over. So, right here, right now, I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the Lord. If you're a hater, if you're a jerk, love is inevitable. Love will find you. You could knock on my door and put a gun to my head. And I know the inevitable for world peace is right around the corner, and you will be loved. So, put down the gun. I'm getting you the affection you will to yourself. By every achievement. By every time of flash cash to get people to like you. It's going to amount to love properly. I will give you my insights for free because I love you and I expect nothing in return. And I am knowing that love is not easily offended. I'm not Jesus. Get off of the cross. We need wood for the fire. You're invited to the barbecue at the ocean or the bonfire. Get off of the cross. You don't have to let them kill you. But if somebody put you on the cross, or put myself on the cross, because we got it right, it's a very great level of humility that you have that opportunity by this horror, right? This, scare, this terror of being killed on a cross that now you're right here at just the depths of... Pain because you're being crucified. These humilities only get you to say to yourself, I need love. I better get love. I'm being killed right now. I have no choice but to surrender and to give up my life and my things. Thus, will not be blown out as a hater, but one that has utter appreciation for the privileges that came as an American to your life. You have no, no, no legitimate reason not to call upon the Lord and that baby Jesus in Bethlehem. Let that miracle figure you out. I love you. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Be safe.